Hey YouTube, welcome back to JTD Blade Smithing. Got a new request from a customer. The boning knife is back for yet another video. The owner would like me to make a sheath. So, I figured why not show you the process of making a sheath for a knife like this. Waiting on feedback from him as to whether he's right-handed or left-handed, because it's going to determine how I make it, because I'm going to put a belt loop on it, an integral belt loop, so that he can wear it on his belt if he'd like. So in order to make a sheath out of Kydex, I had to buy some Kydex. This is much larger than the stock I usually buy, because it usually comes in a 12 by 12 square, but I've got quite a lengthy blade here that I have to make a sheath for. So I'm going to center the blade where I want, figure out some measurements, do some cutting and shaping, and then um, we'll go from there. Alright, got feedback from the customer. He confirmed that he is right-handed while filleting a fish with a knife like this. So what we've got here is the Kydex measured and cut out. We've got our homemade makeshift Kydex press. And once again our Proctor Silex uh, hot plate we're going to heat up the uh, Kydex with. Once it's hot, we'll transfer it over here, get the blade in place, fold it, clamp it, and let it cool. So, here we go. Alright, we got our skillet warming up. Got our radar gun right here, or our temperature gun, to see what the surface temperature is. Right now it's at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. We're looking for it to get up to about 340 before we lay our Kydex on there to heat it up. Currently 320. I'm going to go ahead and lay the Kydex on there. So I'll be putting gloves on because the Kydex is going to get it to be about 290 degrees when we want to take it off. I'm not sure if you can tell from the angle that I've got the camera at right now, but when it hit the heat, it curled up a little bit on both sides. When it starts getting really pliable, it is now it's laying down. It's at 175 degrees. So it's getting there. Let's we'll start moving around like it's doing right now. It'll lay nice and flat when it's actually completely pliable. Right now it's at 212 degrees. Again, we're looking for roughly, give or take, 290. Just based on what I've seen on other YouTube videos. Two fifty-two now. This is going to be boring until I get it into the press, but just so everybody sees exactly how it works. All right. So here's the fun part: arrange the blade, get the Kydex off. See how it fills up, and it's really, really flimsy and loose. Put the Kydex in the press, position the blade, fold the Kydex over nice and tight, press it down, close press, and clamp it. Yes, I preset my clamps because I saw a video where somebody didn't and they were fumbling around real good and I don't want to be that guy. Sounds like you've got some ACDC in the background. Very nice. Now I've got the Kydex press on this uh, elevated stand. 
This is a much longer blade and I have to clamp all the way down both sides of it. I just want it to be effective. For a second there I thought that was my camera that fell, but it was another thing, so I'm good. <laughs> Tell that griddle's on. I'm working up a sweat. Turn griddle up. Unplug griddle. Let griddle cool down. So we're uh, at the point now where it sets in the press. And we pick it up from there when we take it out of the press. All right, there. Figured I'd fix it and show you. It's in the press, we got six clamps on it. I'm just gonna let it sit now until it cools enough to maintain its mold, and we will go from there. So we're out of the Kydex sheath now, or out of the Kydex press. Got a nice good fit, looks pretty good. So the next step is gonna be designing this shape to go around the blade so I can put some eyelets or some Chicago screws in there like I've done on the uh, gut hook knives that I made for Keith. So that'll be the next step is just drawing that out, getting the uh, bandsaw running and cleaning it up. All right, got the general shape cut out. Gonna refine the edges here with the belt sander, but we've got plenty of space to work with and uh, We'll get some nice little rivets in here along the way and work from there. Also helps to plug your equipment. How about that? Love it when I kick the tripod on accident. Yeah. There's more of a shape to it now, as you just watched. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to bore you with the the finished sanding and whatnot and cleaning this up. But if you can see, when I clean this edge off, this is completely sealed. all the way across till you get to that end there so yeah 
I love working with Kydex. It's waterproof, oil resistant, the whole nine yards, and with a little bit of heat, you can mold it just like we did here. So, um, on to the next steps of refining the shape and whatnot, and then we'll drill some holes and put some eyelets in there and some Chicago bolts. All right, I spared you guys all the boring details of using the drill bit and everything to drill my holes, but here's my eyelets inserted, seated well, look pretty good. So that overall is the sheath, but not done yet. I got a new thing in mind that I'm going to give a try, see how it looks, and hopefully it works. I tried something new outside of my area of normality. I ran 550 cord through the eyelets and laced it all the way across. The knot is obviously rudimentary because I was in the army, not the navy, so I don't know anything about tying knots. But there's the sheath, simple operation, works just fine. Blade comes out, blade goes in, and it gives it a little, I guess, extra. So, I think I'm going to learn from this moving forward to try to expand on my experience for future orders. So, there it is. You guys might not like it, but I think it's decent-ish. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to move forward. So, please make sure you like and subscribe. And, uh... Leave comments. I do my shout outs when I get comments. And uh, yeah, this is going to go in the post office and get sent out to uh, its happy owner. So you guys take care. Enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there that watch my channel. Thank you.